fucking idiot, dude. Fucking idiot. God damn it. What the fuck? Huh. Good way to start the day off. Good way to start the day. Oh, my YouTube family. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Fuck you too, buddy. Um, it's been a rough couple, I would say, like 32 hours for me. I'm not gonna lie. So, first and foremost, I got on the bike this morning, and guess what? My fucking tire is flat. And there's this like tiny, tiny little piece of metal. I mean, it doesn't look like a nail or anything like that. I mean, I don't know, it's very tiny. It looks like, like literally like half the size of a pen tip um, sticking out. You know just a tiny 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 little bit from it and so it was flat and um some of you that have been following my other videos recently i've been saying my bike feels funny and stupid me like i would just kind of feel the tire you know and be like ah okay it feels good like I, the responsible thing to do would have been to, to get a you know a pressure gauge tire pressure gauge and, and figure that shit out uh, but i was slacking and didn't fucking do it so it's my own fault the reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. So I'm on my way right now to on Inimoto. Um, the guys are helping me out as usual. Great fucking dudes. Um, to get a rear tire put on and it's just gonna be a cheap tire because I can't afford a Pirelli like I usually get or anything because, uh, was it Wednesday after work? This happened to me. Yep, I got pulled over by a fucking motorcycle cop. I was rolling down the road, <coughs> excuse me, rolling down the road, I hit it off a light and you know I hit it pretty good, I was probably going like 65, um, and then I took my hand out the bars and I was sitting like this, you know, just chilling, going down the road, and I look to my right and I see the cop and I see him sitting there with his gun, you know, his radar gun, and he hit me, and I knew right away that I was fucked, you know, like, oh well. Um, and so I was coming up to an intersection, I was going to make a left at, so, I, you know, go make the left. And, uh, he's sitting behind me, and I know I can see in his lips and everything, he's reading my plate off and, and everything. And, uh, you know, um, the, where I was at was a left on red, or I'm sorry, left on green arrow only. Meaning, if you have a green light, they have a green light going straight, you cannot, you can still not go. Two cars, right in front of him, run this red light, right? And I turned around and I looked at him and I was like, hey, uh, I know you got me for speeding, I know that, but wouldn't, con wouldn't reading a light be more dangerous than me speeding in a straight line? And he was like, I already ran your plates, I gotta pull you over now. Fuck, whatever. So I pull into this parking lot, and lo and behold, guess who's in the same parking lot for some reason? Fucking Anthony with the CBR that we switched bikes over that one day. Oh, that was a big bump. Fuck. Anthony, that switched bikes with me there one day. So he's like, what's up, man? And he starts to walk up, and then he asks the cop, hey, can I say hi to my boy, you know? And the cop, I'll give it to him. The cop was very respectful, very cool. I mean, you know, and he's, you know, he's like, yeah, no problem. He was cool with me. Um, he didn't even run my name or anything like that on it uh, because he asked me, he was like, hey, have you done traffic school in the last 12 months? Which means he didn't even look my record up, which I did traffic. I've only had one ticket ever and that was on Mount Lemon. It's, it's on the channel too. Um, I'll link it down below if I remember. And it was one ticket and I did traffic school for it. So when you do traffic school here in America, for at least most states, um, they don't report it to the DMV. Which means it doesn't go against you as far as your insurance, because getting speeding tickets and stuff, of course, raises your insurance rates. So, that's really cool. I mean, that right there, you know, is, is awesome. Um, and here's the other thing. I watch so many videos on YouTube on Moto Madness and other people that people get pulled over for speeding or breaking the law or doing something, you know, a, a traffic citation. Don't do it, fucker. A traffic citation, and they're angry at the cop for pulling him over. And it's like, dude, you broke the fucking law. You know you broke the law. Stop breaking the law, asshole! You know that you could have, you shouldn't have done this, you shouldn't have done a wheelie, you shouldn't have done something. 
And the way I look at it is, is I like having fun on my bike, okay? I, I, I play on my bike sometimes, it's fun. Um, but you have to, you know, you know the risk involved, you know, either be the dangerous risk or the risk of getting pulled over when you're speeding. And that's the thing we take, like that's the risk we take, you know, a lot of us. So if you get pulled over for speeding, don't be a douchebag and sit there and complain because you got pulled over. Like, just take the ticket like a man, pay your fine, do traffic school, whatever, and move on with your life. Don't fucking make it hard on the cop. Now, the flip side of that is, is it's just a traffic citation. If the cop pulls you over and is treating you like shit over a traffic citation and disrespecting you and just not treating you right, well then fuck that guy and I'll give a disrespect right back. It doesn't matter. You know, it's a two-way street here. He's got a job to do, I like to have fun, okay, cool, rock on. But just don't be that guy, man. Don't be that guy that gets pulled over and just immediately talks shit to everybody about everything. And, you know, that's not, that's not cool. So, but yeah, so that's pretty much, it's been a rough couple, uh, rough couple of days for me. And I'm really hoping right now, uh, the homie Bill came over and put my tire up. I'm really, really hoping that I make it all the way to the shop on Honey Moto before, damn dude, what's up, bro? Before anything bad happens to my tire. I would totally go fuck with that guy, but I haven't nailed my tires, so that's not happening. But yeah, I'll check back in with you peeps here in a, in a few. I appreciate you. Sorry I wasn't posting very much. I apologize. No, it does suck, so yeah. Oh, as we sit here in traffic, this is gonna be fantastic. Anyways, my YouTube peeps, I got the rear tire put on. It's not gonna be like an amazing or the best rear tire ever, but it'll definitely get me by until I can switch it out. I gotta get back on that Pirelli lifestyle. I really, really do. But that's gonna do it for today. Um, I'm supposed to go meet up with X Round, go to Cars and Coffee, come down to On Any Moto, um, hang out here, do some stuff like that. So we shall see how all that goes. Sorry, just a nice little short little video today to keep you guys updated about everything. But uh, other than that, keep it rolling, my peeps. Come check out my Instagram, have fun score 520. Come talk to me, come say what's up. And then I'll talk to y'all next time. Have a good one now. I've been trying to find my way Take me by the hand and let's go find our own space Somewhere in between you and me It's a piece of magic that we need to release Ooh, and now you look